Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakwakwadash. Double honesty and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha. So, I want to talk about what is there to be thankful for, you know? Mainly talking about Chief Jakes. Because, you know, even though y'all may have families, you know, you got your family, your wife, your kids, you know, you may got a house, you know, you may be doing well for yourself, you know, but at the same time, you know, y'all don't understand what's upon you or, or the days ahead. You know, you don't understand that society, America, the society of America is breaking down. That everything is going going to hell. You know, with this coronavirus, you know, and all of these drastic measures that they're taking, you know, shutting everything down, you know, and just pretty much you know, causing hell upon the people. Even though you're you're enjoying your so called Thanksgiving, which is, you know, satanic. You know, saying that you're thankful for what you have. But you don't realize that, you know, what you have you're gonna lose in the very near future. You know. Just like back in slavery you know when we came in here on those cargo slave ships you know these Edomites were separated families were separating us from our families from our kids you know never to be seen and that's gonna repeat itself in these times in these last days <gasps> you know that's gonna repeat itself in these last days that are coming upon us because you're gonna have these Gerger troops, you know, martial law, you know, and you're going to have them separating your families, separating you from your, well, you'll be separated from your wife, your kids, you know, never to see them again. And this is what you Jakes don't realize, because history is, a, is repeating itself. History is going to repeat itself in, its, in, a, in a worse way. You know, and we're coming upon these last days where, you know, it's just going to be a very dreadful time, a very painful, dreadful, agonizing time for you Jakes, which is the time of Jacob's trouble. And we're just in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, because what what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to progress itself, you know. This thing is just going to progress into a full-blown, you know, all-out chaos upon you Jakes. Because Esau, Edom, his time is short. His time of reigning and ruling this earth is short, you know, because we got the signs in the heavens. There's another sign in the heavens that's approaching, you know, on the 30th of, of November, which there's going to be another... Um, lunar eclipse that's gonna that's gonna come you know and those are signs in the heavens you know letting us know that our Lord Yahweh Shai is soon to return to this earth and to set up the kingdom so um, let me um, jump into this scripture right here um, this is the book of Baruch chapter 3 verse um verse 8 and it reads <coughs> Salakia behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou has scattered us for a reproach and a curse you see we, we're still under the curses of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter don't forget that you know so that's nothing to be thankful for but a lot of you Jakes, y'all just don't realize it because you're just in this maze of, you know, delusion that, you know, 
that you'll see a brighter future that you'll be able to see your kids grow up and see their kids kids grow up you know but that's all an, an illusion because you know we're coming in some very serious times where there's going to be mass death, destruction, hell, famine, you know, race wars, you know, more pestilences, you know, we're coming upon, you know, these things that are about to hit, and they're going to, they're going to be coming from every different direction, from all types of different directions. You know, and to be subject to payments and you're subject to payments, you know, you got to pay rent, you know, you got to pay, you know, your car notes, you got to pay insurance, you got to pay, you know, this all type Excel taxes, all types of tax sales taxes, you know, that, that that's nothing to be thankful for, you know, but you, you jakes, you think you have it made here, you think you got it made but you're about to you you're about to receive a rude awakening real soon according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the lord our god you see we, we departed from the lord thy god our god you know yahweh bashim yahshai so this is why we're going to have to suffer all these atrocities that's that's coming upon us <coughs> And because if it's even worse now in these times, you know, with you jakes, you know, it's even worse now. Now Esau, now the Most High is going to raise up Esau, eat him to punish you jakes, to put all kind of hell upon you jakes, you know. Because you don't want to take heed to the men, you know, when we're out there telling you what's about to come. You know, y'all don't want to take heed, y'all want to laugh, y'all want to scorn, y'all want to scoff, y'all want to mock. But the Lord said in the book of um, Proverbs, the first chapter, you know, you know, down all the way down from the 20, 22nd verse that he's going to laugh when your fear cometh. He's going to mock when your fear cometh, you know. <coughs> so these are the times that we're coming in. We're coming into some very harsh times. And even, you know, now, you know, that, that spirit, the Most High, he's drying that, the spirit of this whole holiday, these feast days up. Because even though y'all still, you know, posting pictures of your families or whatever, but we could just, <laughs> you know, we could just feel that the, that spirit... It's no longer the same as it was, you know, five years ago, ten years ago. You know, that whole holiday, jolly, holly spirit is, is just not there no more. You know? Even though y'all y'all still smile and try to <coughs> and try to make it seem like you have it together, but really y'all don't. Beneath the surface, y'all know it's just not there no more. You know, y'all hoping for the best. But, you know, it's better to be, it's better to prepare for the worst because the worst is yet to come. You know, y'all hoping that things would get better, that things would change, that things would go back to normal. But that's just not the case because prophecy has to be fulfilled and prophecy will be, bef will be fulfilled because it says here in the book of. says here in the book of Isaiah chapter 
55 verse 11 and it reads so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth and it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in in the thing whereto i sent it you see so the lord said that his word is not going to go out void You know, it's gonna accomplish. It's gonna, <clears throat> it's gonna prosper in, into the way he sent it. You know, we're coming upon some very evil times. You best believe these evil times are coming. You know, it's gonna be hell on earth. And we're in the beginning stages of that hell. And it's just only gonna progress and progress and progress until it's full until it's full blown. <coughs> and there's just no stopping it. There's no reversing it. There's no stopping it. There's no there's just no nothing. Because the sun is going down upon Esau. And the sun is rising upon Jacob, Israel. You know, that's just how it is. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. And Esau, he knows this. This is why he's going to come with, with brute force upon you, Jakes. You know, why you think they're getting the, the why you think they're getting the military involved? Why you think they're enacting the military? They're just not enacting the military for nothing. They act enacting the military for you, Jakes. Because you're public enemy number one. You know? And in the process of that, too, you know, he's going to destroy and kill his own people and all these other nations, too. But they're just casualties of war, though. They're just the casualties. You know what I mean? The main target and the main focus is going to be you Jakes, you Israelites. <laughs> you know? So, let me get the book of um, Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. But the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he knows that he got but a short time. So, scripture says he knows that he got but a short time. He knows his time is short. He knows that he doesn't have much time to rule this earth. You know, he knows that his time is running out. That he does not have the, the time or the capacity to rule this earth anymore. So, what is he going to do? He's going to take it out on you Jakes, on you Israelites. <coughs> you know? So just prepare for all hell to break loose and for things not to get any better, but for things to just get worse. You know, for you Israelites. You know? Because there's nothing to be thankful for. Because there's going to be weeping and mourning and gnashing of teeth. You're going to be mourning. Because the Lord said he will turn your feasting into mourning. Just get room one more scripture, then I'm gonna close it.
So this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24, verse verse 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not, such as, so like it. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to the to this time, nor nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh left to be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, you know, as you notice, and, you know, that these days are being more shortened by the minute, you know. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's already the end of November. You know, and 2021 is just right around the corner. And, you know... And who knows how these these next few days or this next month will be played out. Because they're already talking about... <clears throat> the Governor Cuomo is already talking about a second shutdown to take place in the, um, the state of New York. You know? And more likely, there's going to be even more shutdowns. You know, these... You know, other states will start following suit. You know? Going into two week shutdowns, you know. The next thing you know, two weeks will end up turning in, you know, two two months. You know, it it's just gonna be all hell breaking loose. It's it's it's, you know, and, and people, you know, are, are on edge, you know. But I want to say all praises and glories to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukwakwadash. Double honesty that passes a great millstone. Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways.